This is Sparta! Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG Build Guide Edition. Today I'm ready to drop on you my new frenzy, yes, basic skill barbarian for Diablo 4, where we are now clearing Nightmare Dungeon 100s. As always, I will cover every single facet of this build. Everything is timestamped in the description below if you need to bounce around. Let's not waste any time and jump right into this. Starting off with some gameplay. Now, right now, as you can see, this is a Nightmare Dungeon Tier 100 which means these enemies are 154 toughest in the game and the skills we are using are frenzy kick triple shout and wrath of the berserker now the idea behind this build was really storm claw what i have with druid but wanted to see if i could recreate that in barbarian and honestly it might have better results crazy as it sounds Triple Shouts, Wrath of the Berserker, give us a huge damage boost. Same with the Vampiric Power. And to dump all our fury, we are using Power Kick, which hits in the millions if it hits right. And again, as you can see, like, these are 154s. And we are doing pretty well. So let's run over and get to this boss fight. Come on. I think we're almost there on this dungeon. Take that. Now this build does focus on momentum. So a lot of the time, the more frenzies you are, who almost didn't make it back. The more frenzies you are doing, the more damage reduction you're doing, which is more attack speed you are getting. So every once in a while, when everything's off cooldown and you haven't hit an enemy for a minute, you kind of got to build back up that momentum. But as you can see, I mean, for 154, we are just destroying these enemies. Probably not the best showcase of having this in where I have to pause. But we are destroying. Die, die. Here we go. Boss fight. All right. Okay. Give it a few seconds. Got this. All right, bubble gonna go off. Bubble is not gonna go off. Let's go ahead and proceed through these doors. Blood Bishop. And let's see, Blood Bishop 154. Yeah, I gotta stay in this bubble. All right, put Vampira Curse on. Oh, just getting crushed. You see those damage numbers? Mr. Blood Bishop, max level, you are dead. So much fun, so strong. Let me show you how to recreate this build. So now let's check out the skills for our Frenzy Barbarian and go figure our first skill, our main skill is Frenzy. This is a basic build. The idea behind it was, can I recreate Stormclaw inside of Barbarian? And it worked so, so well. I have 14 points into Frenzy and you want to take Combat Frenzy and this build loves momentum. The more enemies you're hitting, the more Frenzy stacks, the more damage reduction. As you can see, no core skill. And then down here, we are taking Triple Shout with Rallying Cry and Strategic Rallying Cry. Challenging Shout, War Cry with Power War Cry. So you want to be around a bunch of enemies when you hit this, which is going to give you an additional 10% multiplicative bonus to the already 21% you are getting. That means 31% multiplicative damage to Warcry when you use it around multiple enemies. Absolutely crazy. Our Fury Dump is Power Kick, and you will see Power Kicks when you're at Max Fury for over a million damage when everything works out. It is a really, really fun skill if you've never used Kick. As you go down, we have no skills inside of Weapon Mastery. We're just taking a couple of points here and there. For our ultimate, we are using Wrath of the Berserker. And for our Keystone Passive, we are using Unconstrained. So for those big fights, you're hitting, you're hitting, you're hitting. You have built up all of your Frenzy. And when you hit Shout, Shout, Shout and Wrath of the Berserker, 
you will just kick people to death again very fun those are the skills moving over to the weapon expertise we are using a two-handed axe which is going to give us a multiplicative damage to vulnerable enemies it is perfect for this build when it comes to weapon selection the only skill you are using that actually has a weapon selection is frenzy and frenzy requires dual wield so really you actually don't have a weapon selection for this dual wield for frenzy so now let's check out the paragon board and remember if you want the full 4000 word written guide you will find it linked in the description for the written guide on icy veins this video won't always be updated but the written guide will be all right here we go First glyph, we are using Territorial, which is giving you almost a 60% additive damage to close enemies and damage reduction. Amazing starting glyph. For our second board, we are going over to Warbringer. And the second glyph we are using is Marshall to support us with our shouts. Now on the second board, you're going to notice a lot of maximum fury. That is because the more fury you have, the more damage you will do and the better power kicks you will give. Moving over to board number three, and here we are using Carnage, and the glyph we are using is Ire. 49.1% damage while berserking, and, and while berserking you take damage reduction from elites. They are then coming up to board number four, and this board is Blood Rage. And Blood Rage is important because, yes, if you're looking at this correctly, current bonus 61% multiplicative damage while berserking. Absolutely insane note. And for here, right now I am using Seething, but what you actually want for the full endgame guide is Undaunted, okay? I just don't have Undaunted leveled, so I put in Seething so I can at least get something. All right. Moving on down, we are going to the fifth board, and here we are on Weapons Master, and we are using Exploit. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Board number six, our last board. We are now on Decimator. And for here, we are using Amidextrous because we are one-handed hitters, which is going to give you another multiplicative damage bonus. Now let's check out the Vampiric Powers. We are, of course, taking both basic attack ones, which are Moonrise and Hectic. We are pairing that with Metamorphosis, which is going to grant us Unstoppable and Vampiric Curse. And Vampiric Curse helps us with Prey of the Week, Prey on the Week, which is going to give us a 16% multiplicative damage to vulnerable enemies. And we're going to round this out with Sanguine, which is going to give us crit chance and some added fortify for pushing end game content. Now let's talk gems, uniques, and aspects. For this build, we are going yellow. We're going Topaz for the basic skill damage. Of course, we're going to be going rubies to stack life. And jewelry, you're going to round out whatever you need with resistances or diamonds. Now, for uniques, there's technically nothing that is like this build does not work without it. That being said, we do have best in slot, and I'm literally using five uniques on this build. We are using Battle Trance. This is literally the Frenzy Amulet. We are using Magnum Opus, which is going to give you added damage per how much fury you have. We're using the new Barbarian Tusk Helm, which is going to give us better cooldowns, more fury, and a multiplicative damage bonus while berserking. We're using Fists of Fate, which are the lucky hit gloves, which can give you a damage roll of anywhere from 100 to 300. Since you're using a generator all the time, you're going to be producing lots of lucky hits. And lastly, we're using the new Will Pants that work really great with Metamorphosis since you're always going to have overpower going. Really, really good uniques for this build. And since you could target farm them through the new bosses, they're honestly not that difficult to get if you're in end game. Now, the other aspects we are using. On chest, we are using Aspect of Might, Damage Reduction, Boots, Ghost Walker, Movement Speed While Unstoppable, Rings, we are using Blood Chieftain's Aspect, Cooldown on our Shouts, and we are using Bear Clan Berserker's Aspect. This is when you kill an enemy while berserking. Basically, it's going to reduce the cooldown of your power kick. Now, for weapons, Edge Master, very important because you're always going to have so much of your primary resource. We are using Rapid Aspect because it's a damage, it's a basic skill build, so you want the basic attack speed. And last but not least, Aspect of Blood Ripping, so you are going to be bleeding enemies, okay? 
Now moving on to affixes. And again, we are using a lot of uniques, but in case you don't have those uniques, starting off with Helm, basic attack speed, strength, max life, max fury, chest armor, triple damage reduction with life, gloves, crit chance, lucky hit, strength and attack speed, pants, triple damage reduction, max life, boots, movement speed, strength, damage reduction, all stats, rings, crit chance, lucky hit chance, critical strike damage, max life, and then for your weapons, strength, basic skill damage, critical strike damage, damage too close, and then right under that, if there was a fifth spot, it would say all stats. Those are the target affixes. All right, everyone, that's the build guide. What do you think of my new basic generator frenzy barbarian? Is there anything I missed? Is there anything I do to take this to the next level? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Two asks at the end of the video. Ask number one, I'm hoping today is the day I have earned your subscription. I'm hoping today is the day you make the decision to push that little red button. I would really appreciate it, but of course, only if you think I've earned it. If I haven't earned it, I'm gonna work harder for you. Ask number two, check out my Patreon. Thank you to the first 90 members that have signed up. I get asked all the time, what is the best way to support? And Patreon is it, and you get the most added benefits, and you have access to live stream audio and video with me, and access, access to the VIP lounge, and you can see my new studio tour, my new blooper reels. It's really fun on Patreon. You get stuff, I get stuff, it's awesome. That's all I've got. Hopefully you're entertained, or at least learn something. Aaron, out. <laughs>